Hi, hey, welcome back to the channel, The Teeth Inspired. Today I will be cooking, uh, well, I cooked a lamb bruna before. I'm going to cook a chicken chanawala, that's with the chickpeas. Um, it's going to be chicken on the bone, so medium sized chicken. Uh, it's about 12 to 1300 gram chicken, and I'm going to cook it with chickpea, chicken chanawala. So, one and a half can of chickpea I'll be cooking it with, guys. Nice and simple, medium spice dish, and it's a staff curry, so uh, the staff honey, which a lot of people have been requesting. So that's what I'm doing guys. Um, there's not many of us at work today, so I don't need a big massive pot. Um, I'll be cooking in one of these and it's going to taste beautiful. So I've got my ingredients ready. I'm going to be using um, half a cup of vegetable oil. Um, I'm going to use some garam masala, a couple of bay leaves, some cinnamon bar, um, cardamom seeds about four. I'm going to use some cumin seeds for this one. A uh, heat teaspoon of garlic, heat, heat teaspoon of uh, ginger and I've got some julienne of uh, garlic as well. I like, oh, I want a nice some crunch to it. I've got about two medium uh, onions just uh, diced up. Spices are one teaspoon uh, chili powder, one curry powder, one uh, uh, curry, uh, garam masala, one coriander and half a teaspoon of cumin. I'm going to use two teaspoons of my tomato puree. If you follow my channel, um, have a look at the tomato puree, how I do it. It's very flavoursome and it improves the dish, so I'll try to do that. Um, so I'm about two tablespoons of yogurt, two tomatoes, and one and a half kind of chickpea, and I'm going to have some coriander to garnish. I'll start cooking the dish, guys. I actually forgot to uh, show the chicken, so this is basically one uh, chicken that's going to be added into the curry, guys. So one bowl of chicken. Right, just heating up the pan. So to start off with, half a cup of vegetable oil. Um, let the oil heat up, the pan is quite hot, so um, the oil is gonna heat up quickly. So I'm adding the garam masala, two bay leaves, some cassia bark, about four cardamom pods and some cumin seeds. So I'll let this heat up. I'm gonna put the gas up now. I need these to start making some snap crack on pop noises. Then I know it's ready for the next ingredient. Right, it's been a few minutes, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna add the onions now. are going to take 8 to 10 minutes to soften up so put the lid on give this a few minutes and I'll come back to it guys it's caramelizing too much now so add some water Just saved my onions. I got a bit busy. Right now, I just need to find a teaspoon and add some salt. One and a half teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to lower the gas and just let the caramelize onions caramelize and release some water. I'll give this a few minutes, guys, and I'll be adding the garlic ginger. 
been a couple more minutes. Yep, the onions are softened up. Still got a little bit of toughness in it. It needs to release a bit more water. But there's still a lot more cooking process to go on. So a teaspoon of julienne of ginger, because I want to have a little slight crunch to it. And that's a paste of garlic and ginger with like uh, two teaspoons uh, of garlic and two teaspoons of ginger. been a few more minutes guys I can see the water that I've added to create the steam to help the onions caramelize and not to burn it's evaporated although it's come back to the oil again and the reason why I needed the uh, or basically water to go the rawness of the garlic and ginger has gone that smell has gone so that's important so now on to the next step so now I'm gonna add the spices um, so that was uh, one teaspoon of uh, chili powder, one teaspoon of curry powder. I'm not adding any turmeric because the curry powder already has turmeric. Um, I'm using half a teaspoon of cumin, uh, about one heat teaspoon of coriander and one teaspoon of uh, garam masala powdered. Now that goes in. fragrance is amazing it's got a nice pungent sort of flavor to it so basically this process is just booner it's called a booner but I'm just basically boonering the onions and cooking out the masala the spices so give that a couple of minutes just make sure the spices don't burn because you get a bitter taste and you do not want that just a couple of minutes have passed again beautiful absolutely beautiful the garam masala you can almost taste it from the smell so that's my tomato puree guys smelling tomato -y. two heat tablespoons of yogurt I'm using fat free you can use full fat no problem I left the yogurt out on room temperature because if you have if the yogurt is too cold and you put it into a hot dish like this it can curdle but this is absolutely beautiful it hasn't curdled I'm adding the chickpeas now, one and a half tin, two tomatoes, I'm going to put the heat up slightly and let this cook out. The tomato is going to release a bit of moisture. Right, another few minutes have passed. It's got sort of bubbles coming in, like sort of that thick custardy type of consistency. And the rest of the sauce is sort of hugging the chickpeas. That's what I wanted. Now I'm gonna add the chicken, guys. So one medium chicken, about 12 to 1400 this is, 1400 grams that is. So, as you see, I'll, I'm not going to add any water, but there'll be plenty of moisture that comes out of the chicken. And that should be enough sauce. So I've got this heat on medium. I actually forgot to add some green chilli, so I'm going to add that now. I like to keep it whole, all I do is just take the tip off there, that releases its flavours. So two, three, 
four, five. I'm going to let that cook. All right, it's been another about five minutes or so. Look at that, guys. Plenty of water has released from the chicken. Chicken's almost done. I've got hungry staff. Somebody's just asking me how long it's going to be. Mr. Rahman. Uh, Mr. Rahman is ready. It's going to be five more minutes in a low simmer. Then Bismillah. Some coriander. The lid back on. Staff curry nearly ready guys. It's been about 20 minutes after that I put the chicken in. The water's come out and the water's reducing again. Like I said, if you like it a bit saucy, then just add a bit more water. It'll be perfectly fine. But now the chicken's breaking up, so the curry's ready. Voila. That was the staff curry, the chicken chanawala with the chickpea. Um, very simple, very easy. Uh, cooking time, half an hour to 40 minutes. Um, yeah, very simple and very tasty, very flavoursome. And we're going to be sitting down and having a meal very soon. Right, this is the chicken chanawala. This is the easy lamb, boona, very thick sauce. That's the extras for everybody. And this is the Bengali special Shutki Chutney. For only the Bengalis would know what this is. Secret code Shutki Chutney. Gonna enjoy, obviously with boiled rice. <laughs> 